Hey there everybody, it's Pinstripe Paragon. Welcome back to some more Spyro the Dragon replay. Ice Cavern. Let's go. So, there's actually a couple of ways you can uh, go through this level. Um, I'm going to do it a way that I don't remember if I did it in my last playthrough of the game. I don't think I did because I honestly didn't know how to get there. Um, so essentially, there's three one-ups right here. How was I supposed to know this as a kid? Well, fudge, I don't know. But, yeah. So what we're actually going to be doing today is we're going to be taking on this level a bit backwards. Normally, this would be one of the last things you would find in the level. But I was like, you know what, let's, let's do it first. Let's do it first, you know, just go about this level in a different way. Maybe you've never known that that was there, and this is like a new experience for you. If so, congratulations, you won. But anyway, here's Asher. Thank you for releasing me. Damn, that dragon was old. He was old as fuck. Anyway. Oh, I, I have a love-hate relationship with this level, honestly. It's definitely cool, not to make a pun there, but, um, th it's just kind of annoying at times, like, oh, up there, we got a snowball guy. I mean, to be fair, he's not difficult, but it's like, they they run around on snow boots. At least, it, at least this is not an ice physics level, like there are in the future Spyro games. Speaking of future Spyro games, uh, I was just curious, since I know a decent chunk of people are enjoying this series, I guess, would you guys be interested in me doing at least Spyro 2 again? Um, I mean, I'm trying to think of what all I've done. You know, let, let me think. Okay, first LP I ever did on this channel was Kirby's Adventure, which honestly is awful. Um, yeah, a lot of my older projects were pretty bad, in my opinion anyway. Um, then I did this game. You've done well, Spyro. Some dragons thought you weren't ready. But I knew they were wrong. I'm ready, all right. Ready for what? Here's my thing about the blob. Um, it, it's a really repetitive game. Like, think Splatoon, but with no multiplayer and, like, really meh platforming. Yeah, that's the blob. Um, I was going to do the blob 2 for one of my old friends. But that idea never came to fruition because it just got boring. I wanted to 100% the game because I wanted the platinum trophy. Because it, it, it seems like a pretty easy platinum in hindsight. But honestly, trying to 100% that game would just kill the fun of it. it. It's just one of those games you can play in short bursts and have fun. But it's not something... Thank you for releasing I can me. see myself doing. Nor can I see myself redoing the first game because, <laughs> well, I had a lot of co-commentators in during that series, which uh, in some parts it was a good thing. Because, you know, you gotta spice it up a little bit. I can't just be like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna paint. I'm gonna paint everything. But there was a specific uh, two... <laughs> Uh, co-commentators that I had for one of the worlds in the blob and uh, I'll just say this it was not a good series of videos um, especially that world so uh, yeah not gonna do the blob 2 I mean don't get me wrong I'm sure a bunch of people would want me to do the blob 2 
big norks up ahead are wearing armor. And in the ice cave, armor can make their feet very slippery. Hmm. But anyway, enough of that. Let me see, what else have I done? I think, I'm not sure what I did right after that, but I know I did do Crash Team Racing at one point. Finished it, but I did not do everything possible in the game. I did all the time trials, but the trick of it is I, um, I only, what, what's the word? I didn't get all platinums, which nowadays looking back at it, it's something I definitely could do. So I'm, I'm thinking about redoing that. Um, probably not Crash 3 in all honesty. Don't get me wrong, I love Crash 3, but that, that project was honestly one of my greatest gaming achievements. Um, I mean, that may sound a bit pathetic, but I mean, that's a game I've loved since I was a kid, but I was never able to 120% it until I did that playthrough for YouTube. And, uh, yeah, that required getting all the Platinum Relics. And let me tell you something. That's harder than it sounds. I'm looking at you, Area 51. I hate your guts. Um... And all the gems, which honestly is not a very easy task either. Granted, it's more simple than uh, getting the Platinum Relics. I mean, yeah. You know, I, I love the games. I, I want to do Crash 2 eventually, not Crash 1, because I am awful at the game. If you want, you can check out a speedrun of it that I did with um, Digital Masterpieces, uh, Sathy Slade, and I really don't remember the other person. Like, I I feel like a jacknut, but I really don't remember their name. <laughs> a word of caution, little one. Wait until you grow big, like me, before charging those large enemies. But yeah, go check out that video. Uh, I'll try and put the link in the description if I can remember. If not, Digital Masterpieces is always in my box. Always has. Always will. And, uh... Where's that last gem? Oh, hell no. But yeah, I did not get very far in that speedrun at all. Um, oh well. I, I never beat Crash 1 as a kid. I was really bad at it. I mean, it's a hard game, too. I'm not just saying that because it's like, oh, I, oh, here it is. Because it's like, oh, I sucked at the game. It, it, it's really hard. It, it was. It was. Just a lot of people today honestly probably couldn't beat it. I still haven't really tried without, you know, without cheats anyway. Um, but, yeah, so we still have one more level to do. Got to face the boss, Dr. Shemp. Oh, this boss is dumb. I like the music for his level, though. In all honesty, I like a lot of the uh, boss levels in this game. Like, especially the tunes that accompany them. But, uh, yeah. I'm trying to think what else I've done. Like, I know, like, I keep going back and forth on this, but it's like... You know, I've done, you know, a decent number of games in my history on YouTube. Um, I mean, obviously I did the Spyro Trilogy. Probably wouldn't redo 3 unless there was, like, a huge response for it. Uh, again, I'd want to redo Spyro 2 eventually, possibly, if the interest is there, honestly. I don't want to just replay it, you know, just... Just because I... I mean, I can replay that any time because I want to. You know what I'm saying? But I just wouldn't... I'm not sure if I would want to make a whole video series dedicated to it. Let me see. What else have I done? Jean d'Arc. Um, honestly, I do want to redo that game. But 
that's just because of like my crappy mic quality back then like now I'd say my mic quality is as good as it's gonna get unless like I get my own place in the next two years or so and then just like get an audio mixer and get like a better version of what I have like I have an AT2020 USB edition which it's still good but it's not the best this guy thinks he's so cool you don't know what it's been like listening to him over and over but I'll tell you one thing he should watch his back not trying to sound like an audiophile here but I've heard like the difference between my version and like an audio mixer and it's like you can just do so much more like correcting it with um an audio mixer make it sound even better but at the same time it's just i can't afford that right now like i have a part-time job and i basically only work three hour shifts except on the weekends where i work eight hours which in all honesty isn't that fun either i mean don't get me wrong i still work my butt off like, I think the most I've ever gotten on a single paycheck is, like, 65-ish hours, maybe even more. Um, but it's just, like, with school, I, I, I can't do that. I've got other things to worry about. So, yeah. Oh! Oh, it's a purple gem. Yeah, purple gems, which we have not seen very much of, are worth 25 We've actually seen a couple last episode, I believe. And we're already done with this level. Dr. Shemp, easy as pie. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, move on to Magic Crafters, which is... It used to be my least... One of my least favorite homeworlds. Well, it's weird. There's always been a level in each homeworld that I just... just despise going to um and in magic crafters that level is high caves um mainly because of a reason that uh i'll show you guys when we get there but i'm over it now that level is actually fun now so that's that's good that's real good but i love alpine ridge Oh no! Got him! So, this is a bit interesting. Um, this is the final homeworld where there will be any uh, egg thieves. And I don't just mean in like the homeworld level itself, I mean in the entire like set of levels. Welcome to Magic Craft. I want you to release the dragons, reclaim our treasure, and recover the eggs from those pesky blue thieves. So yeah, that's our goal, is to rescue the eggs. Uh, if you're just going to beat Nasty Nork, you know. So, there's two in this level, which will leave five more for us to collect in this homeworld in general. Which, it's, it's weird, because I always feel like there were more eggs. I don't know, maybe that's Spyro 3 Syndrome. Okay, watch this. So, normally you'd have to go all the way around just to get that guy. Hold on. I have to, like, reset the counter. Okay. Watch this. This is highly funny. Game breaking. That's, what I, that's the one thing I love about those fan things, is that you can just kill enemies with it. Although, it's very rare. To be able to actually do that it's still fun nonetheless let's see how many can i get with this one you got the one i didn't want you to get all right now you can just charge to get them it's really not that hard some of them have better ai than others which may sound a bit weird but in all honesty it, it's true Get back here. Stupid egg thief. Ugh. I can't wait till I'm done with you. Mmm. Get. There we go. Finally. 
All right, I think that's honestly all the eggs I would normally need. I, I don't know how many I'm supposed to get, but yeah. So yeah, that guy has much better AI than the ones we saw before. And he's chuckling at us. That ass wipe. Okay. When you see arrows like these, you can charge along with them to begin a supercharge. Supercharge? Excellent. Go ahead, try it. And so yes, yeah, supercharge. We haven't really seen this that much throughout the game, I don't think. But now we get to use it quite a lot. So, reason I had to do that is because there was a chest right here that that was the only way that could be opened up. So, yeah. Anyway. Oh, no. The battery is low. Hail to be no. Luckily, I had my cable right there. Oh. Hold on. Apparently, when I plugged it in, it went to digital mode. There we go. I love playing this game with the analog stick. If I can, I will. Because, I mean, that's how I grew up with the PlayStation 1, was, like, with all the analog sticks. Because, if for those who don't know, uh, the PlayStation controller never... Uh... Not never. It originally did not have, like, you know, the analog sticks or the DualShock or none of that. It was just, like, a standard controller, you know, with just the D-pad and stuff. Um... I have one of them just sort of lying around. I never use it because honestly, I don't use like an original PS1 anymore. Um, mainly due to the fact that I really have no need to. Uh, the PlayStation 3 is backwards compatible with the PS1. Like, I'm pretty sure all models. Um, it's not not all models are compatible with PS2. Some people I've that I've met never really realized that um like how the uh, original ps3 was compatible with ps2 games but then later on they sort of dropped that feature which they did this portal leads to a special place where you can learn to fly i remember when i was a young dragon earning my wings learn to fly got it what is this, Foo Fighters? Anyway, so, you know, that did happen with the PS3. They did eventually get some games through uh, the PSN store that you could play on the PS2. I mean, the PS3, which were PS2 games. But the main problem with it was you had to buy the games again. And it's not like they were remakes or anything. It was the, the same game, which sucked. But, oh well, not much you can really do about that. Since I'm still on a bit of a rant here, I'm going to go ahead and do Crystal Flight. Like it's, and then they, they even started doing that for the PS4, which, I mean, it's cool and all being able to play Dark Cloud 2 on my PS4. But honestly, I don't... I don't have the need for it because I already have Dark Cloud 2 physically so I'm, I really don't want to buy it again for $15 I think they added trophies which honestly is kind of enough for me to get it um but honestly I've never I haven't played Dark Cloud 2 yet I found it at a convention a while ago I think was it a convention I don't know but Got it pretty cheap a while back, and I just, you know, haven't had the opportunity to play it. Which, I, I've heard it's a fantastic game, and I really like Dark Cloud 1. Although I never beat it, because there was this one boss that was just way too difficult. And apparently I just screwed myself over, because I didn't grab a certain weapon or something like that. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, okay. This is going to be my best shot at this. I don't think I'll do it. Nope. Okay. So what I'm gonna try and do this time is actually just go for the planes first. Um, and then it's really not linear <laughs> for me, but I mean it's honestly working a lot better already.
Okay. Um. Okay, I know what I'll do. I'll get that one, but I'm gonna finish off the treasure chests first, and then I'll go for the rings. That seems like the best way to do it. If I can just get through this one. This one's gonna be a bit tricky of a turn. There we go. Okay. See, it takes about a second to go through each of these. So it's like, it's not really helping me all that much. So yeah, I guess the trick to this level is just to go backwards instead of like, you know, art rings, arches, planes, then chests. It's just a better way to do it, I guess. Uh, but this is honestly... I love the music for this fly level. But then again, I love most of the music in this game. Yay! You did it. See, it's not that bad. Okay. So, that's going to do it for today's episode of the Spyro the Dragon replay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are still enjoying the series. Later days, yo.